What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more NFL Street. In the last episode, we finished our way through the NFC West ladder. Now, the challenges are still available to us if we want them. Um, we got a few options here that I can still go after. These 760 development point ones are also very interesting and very doable, but I'm going to pass on those for the time being. We're going to be heading on into the AFC West here, doing a couple of things here. Um, I'm going to go with this one, successfully complete one style juke, one style hurdle, one style dive and win against the Raiders in a game to 24. A little bit on the longer side as far as challenges are concerned, but this one is extremely doable as long as you are diligent and then you just obviously have to win, which is not too hard. But, yeah, you just got to get the style points. The only problem is, is executing these is a little bit sketchy just because you can get yourself in trouble and you got you to gotta time it. I mean, you can, you can fumble the ball for one, but... Uh, uh, on top of that, these are a little bit sloppy in their execution. But as long as we just keep running it, this will be the way to make it happen. And you got to actually execute it properly. And that's not how you do it, because then you're just going to get taken out. So I'm just kind of spamming these run plays until I make it work. All right. Let's do that. And then, oh, didn't get that. But I did get the style juke. And I believe we can actually look at the challenge status. So there is my style juke. It still gave it to me. Um, I'm going to try to get another open field. Oh, okay. Break my back, why don't you? My goodness. Oh, she split me right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have said that the second I, I thought it. Oh, no. Okay, I think we're going to have to probably settle for the style dive here, and then we'll try to get the style hurdle on the next possession, because, yeah, that doesn't look like it's going to be happening. So we'll take that. We're only going to 24. Actually, I probably should have gone for a pass then because then I would have only needed three touchdowns, but whatever. I'm not too worried about it. So pretty much a standard game otherwise. I don't have to worry really about them at all. I just got to win, crying out loud. There we go. That's a pretty good stop. So the Raiders, if I'm not mistaken, don't have a very good running back. But they have a great defense and they have a bunch of... And they have two very good receivers, so... You just got to be careful in your... Well, and then he, I, I say that and the running back kills me. But again, my defense leaves a lot to be desired. Ha-ha, <laughs> almost got you. Just let them score. It's fine. I want the ball back anyway for, so I can do my hurdles. I just need to get open field to execute it. Oh, nice. Default player with the bum rush, with the sack. That's what I like to see. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Nope, that doesn't work. Gosh, that guy, I need to stop running to his side. He's what's killing me here. Because he's actually their defensive back. Take that, run out of bounds. I think we've got it. Yes, we do. Okay, we're good now. I don't have to style around anymore and do really silly little plays. Let's just keep going. There we go. Oh my gosh. Fricked like a six-man pileup right there. That was brutal. Now we just win the game normally, and it should be ours. Now, of course, the thing to notice about this field is that it's got a bit of an interesting terrain. Obviously, being on sand, it makes them more sluggish. It makes them, it makes it easier for them to slip, things like that. So it's something to keep in mind, and you are going to have to deal with it as you uh, as you play on this field. So don't forget that. I didn't really bring attention to it last time, so I figured I'd do that now. Yeah, Woodson, he's really freaking good. So I, I don't want to rush to his side all that much anymore. Come on. Yes. Oh, that's a lot of yardage they lost. They are right up against the back. I'm going to see if I... Please be a quick pitch. Please be a quick pitch. Oh, get him. Thank you. Okay, they lost a little bit more. They lost a little bit more. This is good. Let's keep uh, trying to catch them off guard here. Oh, how did he not get that? Oh, I thought I was going to make cause that fumble. Son of a gun. All right. Here we go. Last attempt. Get it. Oh, get him. Thank you. Oh, turnover on downs. That's what I wanted. Okay, so this is actually going to be probably the one. Well, you know what? No. Actually, I was going to say this might be an instance where I'd actually want to use a game breaker on offense. Because if you do that, um, using a game breaker on offense is actually a great way to end the game very, very quickly if you are only one score away. So that is something to keep in mind. <laughs> Oops. 
<laughs> that was a bad throw. Mostly because I got hit on the in the process, but whatever. Get it. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they gave that to me. All right, I'm going to actually do this just for the style points. Let's do a little trick play, and it didn't work. Well, if I can get some sacks here, maybe that maybe I will get to use it on offense. We'll see. Come on, let's time this right. Oh, I thought I had that. Beautiful. Not a bad stop. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume he's not going to do a run here. Get him. Oh, my goodness. This is good. This is good. We almost have our game breaker. Oh, I thought I had it. Thank you. We are so close. If we get the turnover on downs, we'll definitely have it. I have to assume they're going to pass here. Thought I thought he was going to do it. No. Stop him. Oh, my gosh. We got freaking pushed out of the way. Ah. Son of a gun. Yeah, okay, I'm definitely using the game breaker on offense. Well, at least I gotta show it. Because it's such a dominant way of just instantly winning. So when you use game breaker on offense, and we'll show it after we do their they do their point after, um, you basically just become an unstoppable machine. You can get tackled still. You did then you can still throw picks and fumble it and things like that. Very, very doable. But it's not likely. And we're gonna show this off right now. Alright, here we go. This is how this works. You just run, you break tackles, you juke, and you keep going. <laughs> Look at that. I broke three tackles there. Only reason I was even taken down at all is because I have absolutely no blockers whatsoever. And then you can also get pushed out of bounds, which is also something to worry about. Uh, I'm going to do a trick PA dog. And hopefully this is enough to just finish it. There we go. Again, freaking three guys there, triple coverage, and I'm still able to catch it like it's no issue whatsoever. And there we go. All right, we got it. So that is 1,120 development points and some t-shirt I will never use. I will take it. So now, let's see. So I've already got two little tokens to add a player to my team. I think I'm going to do that a little bit later just to kind of show it off. Um, although, I don't know, I, I kind of do want to just go full custom. So I don't think I'm going to get any of these impact things for a while. We're going to pass on those. Let's move on into our new division here really quickly. And maybe we can do one of the big ones here. Uh, score a defensive touchdown. That's going to be tough. Um, beat the Bears in a game to 30 without throwing an interception or losing a fumble. That is extremely doable, but it's just long. I'm going to try this one. I'm going to try this one now. It's going to be not super easy because really the only way you can do this is by getting a fumble. So we're going to try. I'm basically just going to rush them over and over until it works. Now the Lions are bad in this game. They are really bad, but we're going to do our absolute best to make this happen. Nope. That's not going to happen. All right, let's restart that challenge because that is basically how I've instantly blown it. We'll just keep trying this over and over and over again until we can get a nice fumble. Nope, try it again. <laughs> it's because I'm doing exactly one thing every single time. And I'm only going to do this, like I said, a couple more times and then I'll probably cut to the successful attempt. Come on, fumble that stuff. Yep, all right. Well, we'll restart one more time. This will be my last show on screen. And then if this one doesn't work, we will cut to the successful attempt. We got a freaking stop there at least. It's not exactly what I wanted. This is what I'm hoping for right here. Please do the pitch. Oh, I thought I had him. Come on. Do that again. Do that play again and don't send a guy over. Please. And I don't want a safety because that doesn't count. Ugh. I don't know if this is doable now. We'll see. We will try, but it's very unlikely. I'm going to assume he's going to do a run now. And the running back is the hardest to cause the fumble on. Thought I had him, but I don't. All right. Well, let's restart. Yo! 
Oh, right on the next attempt. I can't believe I got it that easily. And with my quarterback, too. Holy crap. Instantly got a pick on the very next attempt after I cut away. That was uh, pretty impressive. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is before I spend any more of my tokens, I'm going to make myself my... Because we already have a defensive lineman, so I want my offensive lineman now. So give me just a moment. And this is Brick Wall. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough money to feed him his fruits and vegetables, so he is unfortunately very tiny at the moment. But he's got statistics. He's got stats. He's got blocking, tackling, D-moves, so he can compete right up there in the line with with our boy Truck over here. A uh, little bit better at blocking, obviously. And he's a little faster, too, which is also going to come in handy in numerous, I would say, out-of-the-box situations as opposed to set plays. Don't worry. We'll make him a little bit bigger later. But we, I just wanted to have another competent player on the team so that... That he can actually contribute in future uh, future development points uh, challenges uh, like like this for instance so let's um keep him on this side I love that they're putting truck on the other receiver position absolutely not that is not gonna happen um, kind of funny that they want it to happen though okay we're gonna move wall in on the middle there perfect okay I think that is the right call Let's do this thing. So this is a game where we have to go to 30 without fumbling or throwing a pick even once. Should be relatively easy, but we're going against the Bears, who do have, if I remember correctly, one of the top three linebackers in the entire NFL at the time, which is the guy that just tackled me right there. Um, so that is the one concerning part. If we keep running it, this is probably going to be our best bet of not doing anything on accident. I mean, I'll throw some passes here and there. But I think running it is going to be the safest bet, if I'm being honest. So, we're just going to have to make sure we throw our passes uh, intelligently as we go. But because I actually have an offensive line, I am on the happy side. Yeah! There we go. Get the dive. Okay, so we're just going to 30. And I would like to not have to go get more than four touchdowns so let's just uh or we could just instantly blow it okay well that's great okay we are back <laughs> this has been arduous to the nth degree i cannot believe how long this is freaking taken i feel like there's like a modifier where as soon as you're about to score suddenly everything is a fumble or an interception and there's nothing you can do about it so we got a safety there, which is unfortunately not enough because uh, we're still going to be nine points away, which there's absolutely no way we're going to be able to make that work. So I'm just going to run out of bounds with that because I am not risking getting any fumbles. This has been one of the most obnoxious things I've ever... I don't think I've ever been spent so much time on a challenge before trying to get this to work, but... I mean, I'm sure I have. There, there, there are definitely worse challenges later in the game. I'm just getting unlucky with this one. So unlucky. I can't freaking believe it. Oh, okay. Well, didn't mean to do a fake there, but I'll take it. All right. We're going to just keep doing this same exact run play because it is pretty reliable for instant yardage. And again, I really, I just don't want to get a fumble. I really don't. A fumble, uh, an interception. Give me that. Thank you. Okay. I'm just a score away at this point. I'm just going to play it safe. Dive in. Thank you. Okay, so we are two away. If we can get, like, another safety or something, wahoo. We shouldn't let them get a game breaker either, but we just can't turn it over again. And the one that's really killed me, if I can be completely honest here, has been me causing a fumble, picking up the fumble, and then my guy instantly fumbles again when hit. I don't know, and then they'll pick it up and it's a fail. And I don't know why that just, it's like predetermined to happen, and there's nothing I can do to save it, and of course now they're just god tier. Give me that. Don't freaking fumble it. Thank you. Uh, like, right on that kind of a play. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why it has happened so many times, but it, it's just, it, it just keeps happening, and it's so frustrating. Okay, run, just run out of bounds. Oh, okay. Just don't fumble it. Okay, let's try to run it in and finish this. Holy crap. I did not think this challenge was going to take so long. Thank you. Oh. <sighs> Man, that was the worst. Okay, let's try to do a really quick challenge here before we call it. A um, little extra development points was nice. I'm going to see what can I get on a 763 user sacks. First drive score a touchdown against the Lions who have an active defensive game breaker. That one's possible. What do we have in the 760 here? Uh, two stiff arms to beat the Raiders in a game 24. No, thank you. Too long. 
And then what do we have here? Um, score a touchdown before the Rams. Oh, no, not that one. Get three user tackles. And oh, See, those are all long-winded. Uh, maybe I should just go for a playbook one here really quickly. No, those are all freaking long, too. My gosh. Um, all right, let's just try it. Let's just do it. We're going to do our absolute best here. Switch glue hands to the other side. Truck, you're right there. Because you can't catch. You need a block, dude. And, uh, yeah. All right, so this is going to basically be nothing but long plays. So let's do our best. So we're going to do the dives like we did before. Try our best here. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try it again. Just going to have to keep doing this over and over again. I, I probably can't wait as long as I did on that one. Go a little bit faster. But I can't afford to do bullet passes either. Get it. There we go. That's what I wanted. Those are the kinds of plays that I want. Okay. That's not going to be in. Okay, I need, a, I need a shorter play here. Let's do a PA dog. Give it! Oh, gosh dang it. Of course, he ran across the field and screwed it up for me. Okay, we'll keep trying this. I just can't give myself too much time. Otherwise, they are going to get to me in time. Oh, what in the world was that throw? That was one of the worst throws I have ever seen. And I get that it was off balance, but my goodness, that was just pathetic. Come on now. Get it. Thank you. There we go. Got it. All right. That is going to be it for this episode. Guys, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of NFL Street very, very much. We still got a few more tokens left to spend. I think what I'm going to do is in the next episode, I'm going to go after a couple of uh, playbook. Uh, I'm going to go after a couple playbook plays. I think I'll do two, and then we'll do one more 760 development points thing before we prepare for the ladder. So a few more challenges left to get done. We'll worry about that next time. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.